Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for update 36 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, we have a whole bunch of upgrades to the meats system, some new uh, sequences for it, and some upgrades to the item spawner to better integrate it with this mode, as well as just some sort of UX improvements in general. So to start off, let's uh, let's take a look at the item spawner. The first big change is that it no longer works by actually pressing your uh, hand against it. It now uses the uh, the sort of laser interaction system, which is tremendously more useful. And uh, it now has a new mode that you can sort of see in place here. We you can see that we have a uh, currency listing here. This is Sauce sta uh, Standardized American Universal Currency Emulsion. And uh, it's good, the currency that the unlock system runs on, which is now pretty much fully functional. So what's changed here is when we go to a, uh, a section here, so say uh, automatic handguns, you'll notice that there are uh, all of the items that are currently locked have a little lock icon in the lower right. Uh, basically, uh, the, the way the system is set up is that there's pretty much one firearm in each subcategory that starts unlocked, so you're not completely locked off from a type to begin. Uh, in this case, of course, we've got the, the classic 1911 is what uh, what starts as. Um, so if I click on this, we can you can see that we can just spawn it as usual, like so. I'll go ahead and chuck that there. We got a garbage can in here now for convenience. Um, but in the case of something that isn't unlocked, say uh, the Browning High Power, we can see that we have a label here for how much it costs to buy. So I can click this. I can purchase it. Boom. It now can be spawned. It has deducted the amount. I can click spawn there. Perfect. And that is uh, ready to go. Man, I am just having so much trouble grabbing these slides today. Anyway. So, what next? What next? So let's take a look at, uh, at our sequencer up here. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at the uh, the new sequences that we have. So there are now a full set of uh, getting started sequences related to disc targets. And you'll notice that we now have this sort of award symbol next to each sequence. That's because for each for each sequence challenge, there are three sort of tiers of award that you can get that also relate to how much sauce you get uh, at the end of playing that sequence. Uh, we got three for casual plinkin. I'm going to go ahead and start off here and show you one of these, as I had realized that last update video, I hadn't shown one of the spawning modes that I had gotten working, which is the more IPSC silhouette style. So let's go silhouette one here. This is the uh, this is the casual plinking category, which means it's not time pressured at all. You don't get any bonus for completing it faster. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's shoot a bunch. Wave two. So that was the five meter distance. This is the ten meter distance. This is the 15 meter distance. And here's all three of them at once. Let's 
Let's actually switch to the browning here. It's got a little more of a capacity. Oh wait, I wasn't able to get this to rack. I think this pistol may actually be bugged out. I will check that as soon as I am done recording my uh, devlog here. Just so many firearms at this point, it's easy for a little bug to slip through. And our last set here. Beautiful. So then that will bring you to the submit score screen here. We have the sequence name, your score. This is your local score display name, which say it, uh, it retains it uh, each time you enter it in. But we can totally go back and change this. And we have a fully functional keyboard here. We can click, sub click uh, submit score. Woo! We get our payout in sauce packets as well as our... Uh, as our rank for it. And so this is, I added the, the sort of just local only name entry specifically for those of you who are playing H3 hot seat, want to compete against your friends just on a single system. So this is here now. Cool. So now beyond that, let's, uh, let's put all this stuff down here. We've got some other new functionality, which is that uh, is item restriction. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to actually go ahead and load, just grab a carbine here. And I'm going to go over to a sequence, uh, lightning reflexes. These three, the, uh, the three that I have in here are just for pistol at the moment. Now, if I actually select one of them, quick draw pistol one, you'll notice we get this warning message that the sequence is equipment restricted. We have a list of what valid equipment is here. And as long as this is in my hand or in a quick belt slot, we cannot start the sequence. So I actually have to place this down on the table to be able to begin the sequence. And once the sequence uh, sort of starts, any illegal equipment actually becomes completely disabled. So this is basically, it's, it, it might be a little kludgy, but this is the best compromise I was able to figure out specifically because I didn't, initially I was like, I had it auto drop the equipment, but that was just irritating. So let me know if this works for you and if it ever bugs out on you, because it's pretty fresh. So for our quick draw, let's uh, let's do something appropriate. Let's get ourselves a revolver, a speed loader. Cool, so warm up times are randomized. I can't remember, let's see, ammo mode infinite. So we don't actually have to reload between these. So this is using a new feature called quick draw mode, where basically what we actually have to do is we have to holster our, uh, our firearm, uh, or just not be holding it, uh, for the warm-up timer to actually engage. So let's begin the sequence. So now, notice how the, the, the timer isn't counting down, it just says holster your firearms. So I'm actually going to put this here, keep my hand over it. Ah, oh, terrible. Try again. Terrible. Oh, far too slow. Oh. You notice the bulls now actually have colored feedback. And there we have it. Oh, still only have bronze on that one. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the new. 
quick draw sequences, there is also a, uh, a new, another wave feature called Reflex that you may encounter, which is basically designed to, and it can be enabled independently of quick draw, which is that the warm up timer is hidden. So you don't know exactly when the wave is going to start. You have to be sort of ready, either aimed or with your hand over your quick belt slot when they're used together. So yeah, so that just about covers it in terms of the new stuff in the uh, the Meets system. Um, I only managed to get about 12 new sequences in, though I may pop uh, another one or two in in between when I film this and push the update tonight. Uh, the next update, I'm, I'm finally basically system complete um, in terms of the baseline and can start really filling out these uh, sequence categories. So I hope you enjoy them. And uh, let's go ahead and jump out of VR now. Yo! So we're back out of VR, actually in between the, uh, the moment where I recorded the last section you just watched and here, uh, I found the bug with the Browning High Power. I had some errant overlapping colliders so that's already fixed. I don't know how I didn't catch that or have issues with it before because the, uh, the sort of trigger for picking it up was overlapping like well over half of the trigger for the slide. So if you didn't have your hand in exactly the right position, uh, you would just grab it out of the other hand instead of actually pull the slide back. So, but that's fixed. So on to the rest of our change log. Um, one thing I forgot to show when I was in VR is that there's now an abort sequence button. It is behind you and on the ground once you've started the sequence. So if you accidentally start one and didn't want to do it, you can just uh, go ahead and click that button and it'll drop you out within about a second or so. Let me know if it glitches out. I just added it this morning. So if there's Still some bugs in it, I would like to know. Um, let's see, what else? Um, did a little bit of UI rearrangement for the Meet system. I know at least one user on Reddit commented that uh, the back button wasn't in the same spot on each page of the, uh, the sort of Meets menu, so it was easy to accidentally trigger a sequence. So that's been fixed. It's now consistently positioned. Um, what else? Oh, the item spawner and the garbage can that I just added disappeared during the sequence. Um, let's see here. And then just some other little minor fixes, some stuff involving the Mark 17 drum. It's round position changed when it shouldn't have. Um, there were some item spawner images that were incorrect. Um, yeah, and just some, some other just little tuning all across the place. So, where are we and what, uh, what's sort of coming up next? So, the... Oh, and one last thing that was changed. Um, you'll notice with the grid-style target, whereas before, if you had, say, a set of equations that it would give you, you know, addition, subtraction, etc., when you shot one, it would change what it was asking for, but you didn't really get any sort of visual feedback that you had advanced to another thing. So now what happens is every time a new instruction is advanced to with the grid target, you'll see all the cells shrink and expand again, um, which, should, which should help you, uh, yeah, just pace your shots correctly and recognize that another challenge has arisen. So, my goodness, this has been an absolutely <laughs> exhausting uh, past two weeks, past week especially. Everything related to the unlock system took Far longer and was far more difficult than I thought, as was the uh, illegal uh, equipment detector for a whole bunch of reasons related to just the, the sort of scene graph structure when you have attachments. So actually recognizing when you had a totally legal firearm with an illegal attachment on it, etc. So hopefully that should now all uh, work as intended so it can't be circumvented. Um, Right now, because there aren't a ton of sequences, there aren't a ton of opportunities to earn a whole mess of currency yet, as mainly I just have beginner waves in, uh, beginner sequences in, which means they have sort of beginner level uh, sauce rewards. Um, but by the next update, that problem should be solved. I've got a whole bunch more sequences part of the way through uh, design, and I've, and I've basically figured out the, the typology that separates all of them and how, which ones are going to be oriented around reloading challenges and which aren't, which ones are going to be oriented around sort of small numbers of targets, rapid reactions versus large volumes. So by the time I'm done, the eight categories should really feel distinct from each other.
So yeah, and of course I wanted to thank everyone for all of the feedback you've given me in terms of the preview sequences. They really, they really helped me in the design process of sort of narrowing down, as I said, the sort of the identities of those eight categories. So, and now that I finally have the blasted unlock system done and pretty much every bug ironed out of the sequencer, I'm ready to just crank along in terms of making new sequences. So I should have, uh, I'm hoping to have a couple dozen of them for you folks uh, for the next update. Um, as well as I want to spend some time cleaning up and making the scene prettier, actually finishing my lighting pass and getting some more decoration in the scene. I've also got some ideas for about three or four more target spawner types that I want to get in. I don't know if I'll get all three to four of those in by the next update, because truth be told, I wore myself out for this one. So I may slow the pace down for, uh, for a week or so just to recover from it. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, overall, I'm really pleased with how this system has come together. And uh, I, I hope you all uh, get to enjoy it when, uh, when it's all set. So without further ado, I think I'm going to uh, go collapse now. And by collapse, I mean hit the upload button on this video and take a short nap uh, before I do final build testing. I hope you all have a uh, wonderful week. Peace.